Hi, I just wanted to uh, share my latest flight adventure with you. So this is uh, my latest creation, it's a canard aircraft. The uh, canard wing there in the front is set to 5 degrees positive pitch and uh, the center of gravity is surprisingly far off. It's where my right hand is pretty much spot on. Uh, and it's quite stable in this configuration which is nice. So the main wing is actually carrying a pretty large amount of the load. Uh, the uh, test here is to fly with an extra kilo added weight. The, the aircraft weighs two kilos, but I put on uh, one kilo of steel on it just to see if the flight characteristics are as good as with two kilo takeoff weight. So this is the first test toss. It's uh, unpowered, so I'm just gliding here. I have my mental benchmarks for other aircraft at this location, and this one is the best performing aircraft I built up to date. And here we're doing the uh, powered ascent so uh, it has a 17 by 10 inch propeller turns pretty slowly with a uh, old hobby king donkey motor it's a bushing motor rather than a ball bearing motor but it's quite efficient anyway and it turns out that the uh, flight efficiency so to speak is uh, 35 grams of uh, carrying capacity for every watt that you put into the system uh, so that makes it fairly efficient. Uh, so this model consumes around 80 watt in level gentle flight. And this is a quarter scale dream. So the man carrying 200 kilo version would consume around 6 kilowatt of uh, power in level flight, which, which is uh, quite manageable, uh, battery driven or powered by a like four stroke engine or something. The uh, aircraft has the uh, positive uh, characteristics of the canard aircraft, and that is it's uh, almost impossible to stall it. So I can fly with the elevator, you know, pulled all the way back, uh, and it starts to go in a slight pugoidal motion, but it doesn't stall, so you can fly it around with the elevator in its most pitched up position. The uh, turning is, of course, uh, made possible by the rudder in combination with the uh, 10 degree. Um, upward swept panels. Um, I think it turns fairly clean but it might benefit from a little bit more dihedral in the uh, outer wing panels. But I'm not sure about that so I'm just leaving it as is for, for now. So uh, it does fly faster with this added weight but it doesn't consume so much more power. I, I was afraid that I would need to fly it in a more uh, inefficient, uh, you know, angle of attack and, and so on, but it turns out that it's quite capable of carrying this extra kilo of load. The battery there is a two cell, two cell battery, uh, 5.2 amp hours, so I can fly almost for half an hour with that battery. And the uh, airfoil is a uh, Clark Y. It's expanded 20% in the Y direction to accommodate a larger spar, wing spar. But I only have a 10 millimeter aluminum tube in it right now. And it was, I was really intending to put a 15 millimeter tube in there. So it's quite flexible uh, as is now, but it, it has room for a significantly much stronger uh, tube in the uh, cross section of the airfoil. Okay, that's all for this time. Bye.